Okay, and welcome back to the uh, last call for alcohol. And uh, the closing time for today's liquid lunch, it was a wonderful Women Wednesday. If I could fit in any more alliteration, I would. Um, but it's always a wonderful ending when we have back our favorite model comedian, Kate Herman, um, to fake it for us. And uh, she got some fake tweets, right? Frank, well, before that, wants to correct my mistakes, right. but I only did one so mistake. good today that we have Kate to... Only, only one mistake, and just to correct the record for a lot of the viewers that have written me over the last 40 minutes wondering, yes, it was me who paid for that birthday cake for uh, Aaron Sykes, that uh, ice cream cake, so uh, no better way to celebrate Aaron Sykes and Marlena Shivo's birthday a day later than by having me pay for it. Happy to do so. <laughs> it's the least I could do. Uh, but the only correction that I have for you today, John, today you were pretty good. Um, you indicated that the Siena poll that came out uh, this week showed that New Yorkers viewed Bill de Blasio as the worst mayor ever. In fact, that's not true. The poll is uh, that they view him as the least popular politician in New York. That is true. Um, so, lest anyone think that we were exaggerating here, Bill de Blasio has a favorability rating of only 26%, far lower than Cuomo or anybody else. It's also lower than Donald Trump. So uh, it's no exaggeration to say that Donald Trump is more popular in New York City than Bill de Blasio, which is amazing. So uh, we apologize to gentleman Jimmy Walker and to former Mayor William O'Dwyer. Your reputation as the worst mayors in history remains intact. All right. For now. All right. Fine. I'll take it. I still, maybe that was a little um, editorializing on yes. my part. A little hyperbole. I just think it he's the your worst. Want. I've never used any hyperbole on this show That's ever. Right. That's right. Um, we reported straight. But uh, Kate, uh, give us some fake outs here. The tweet world, the Twitterverse is so ridiculous these days that you can't tell um, fake from reality. You have one uh, real tweet. You have two fake tweets. Um, and as the game goes, you will try to um, confuse Frank and I so much that we can't choose which one is real. And um, if we pick it... On Andrew. with the tweets! Yes. All right, so today our tweets are from 50 Cent. First one, I can't believe my grandmother's taking me to take out the garbage. I'm rich. F this, I'm going home. I don't need this. Huh. Beep. Okay. All right, next one. Well, I'm going to bed because Snoop noticed a tweet of mine where I only used one G in dog, and I'm mortified. <laughs> <laughs> one G in dog. That's pretty good. All right. And then finally we have, do ants have... And he's talking about male members. Yes. There, do, do, slang term. do ants have a uh, hetero member? Which is a fair a question, yeah, no. and I am now puzzled by it all. All right. Um, I'm puzzled how... Kate finds the inspiration to track down all of these texts. <laughs> so, John, my thinking is that number two is likely real because Snoop Dogg probably would file a follow Fitty on Twitter. And I see him being much more respectful to his grandmother. Remember how he broke up and cried when his mother died? I can't imagine somebody that would break up when their mother dies then go out and complain that he has to take out the garbage for his all grandmother. All right, I'll go with the, I'll go with the D O double G. I'll go with D.O. Double G Dog. I could see that, that correlation. I could see the ants. To, right. Yeah, I could see the I, ants I don't as get well. The ants one, but uh, we're going to go with D.O. Double G Dog. Cool. I right. am 4 0 on this well, show. We're now. wrong again? Yes. How? It was oh. the grandmother. Oh, look me. at that. Wow. Grandma. I can't believe my grandma. Um, well, who, then who left off the G? Justin Bieber? It was Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy oh. Teigen. And then the very. Philosophical question about the ants was from Kourtney Kardashian. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I actually mistook um, that first. Uh, I'm in my own brain, Kanye West, her husband, with Fifty Cent, because they're both rappers, um, and it was Kanye who cried when his mother died. So it's Kim's husband, not Kourtney. Oh, I, well, I mixed up my oh, Kardashians let's write that again. Down. Frank, you made a mistake. You made a mistake. That is the area that I'm the least <clears throat> proficient is Kardashian proficiency. So you four and zero. I'm really you're, good at uh, this. you're undefeated. Is. You're really good at this. <laughs> um, I think at some point we're going to have to start inserting a little more comedy into the delivery of them. Yes. Sure. Um, otherwise, I just have to call you a model, and we know you so much more than that. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, I will work on that. Then. She you is turn awesome. pro with this fake tweet. And uh, <laughs> when you want to cap off the show, um, when Woman Wednesday, you bring in Kate Herman because she's 
a model comedian, and uh, she's one of the brightest writers around, too. Some of the stuff that comes out of her mouth actually comes from her. But uh, you stay right there. Tune in tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel.